Hello there. So in this video, we're going to create short video for the YouTube and all steps, how we can create a perfect animation combined with music. So this is what we're going to do. Notice how the animation is going more with the music. And of course, this is a video will be an end. So you can preview a little bit more as well. I'll post a link for you. Okay, let's begin. We start with a stable diffusion and I'm using stable diffusion 2.0 installation with automatic 1111 distribution. And also I'm going to use it the deform for animation. If you don't have a deform, you can go inside the extensions, click on available, click on the load from. This is will give you all list of available official extensions. I'm just uncheck installed because I already installed it. And you just type the form. You should have it, this uh, extension showing. And in your case, it's probably will say installed if it's already installed or install. Click on install and this will download it. It will take a little bit time to download. After download is completed, I will recommend for you to go click check updates and be sure to click apply and restart UI. Then you should have the um, tab with the forum displayed. Sometimes you may need to restart all of your server if um, some packs or libraries not yet compatible, it will reread and update everything. So this is kind of steps. After this, you should have it the forum here. Our next step is find properly music. The reason is because YouTube have these requirements. It must be a 16 seconds, no longer and it must be in the vertical format. So this is kind of a, for us to watch. Next, you need to find the music that you're going to use. I'm utilizing my Invanto elements and one what I found, it is this aggressive dubstep music that we're going to use. And when I was looking for the music, I was specifically looking for the size. And you notice right here, they have a track of shorter 32 seconds. It's what we're going to use. Also, you can look on the beats if you need it, but what we're we going to do, we don't need how many beats per second, so we are okay on this. Okay, let's go right now in our stable diffusion. And first, I want to be sure I want to render what I wanted. I want to see the picture before. For this, text to image will work very good for the beginning. At least it's provide us with some information what we're going to have. I'm using RPG version 4. You can use any other ones. Um, and also because it's RPG version 4, they kind of like to use a simple method recommending DPM++ to ASA cars. So I'm selecting that one as well. Also, let's go ahead and put some string in. By the way, if you're interested, I will provide uh, that string for you in a description. Okay, right there. Let me copy, paste the description. And as negative, I just put it nude and SFW. Just basic things because I don't want to pop up on YouTube any of the stuff. The sampling step, let's go put it 55 and right here width and height. Width is 512 but height I will put it 768 because I want remember vertical kind of things is what we want to do. So we'll just go put here. Um, we we'll leave it CFG at the 7. I think this is kind of good for now. Let's go ahead and click generate and see what we have. Okay, so it's a render and it's actually it's what I want. I want this surrealism kind of picture. I think that will work very well. Mostly if we're doing a zoom in kind of animation. Okay, remember what I said before. Our song, it's 32 seconds. Because it's 32 seconds and I want to go to work like 12 frames per second, then we need to bring out our calculator and put it. We have it 32 seconds. Okay, and we're going to do 12 seconds per uh, 12 frames per second. Sorry, we'll multiply by 12, and we have a 384. So we need to have a 384 frames. Now, when we're inside the form, we can start working because we have some information for this. So let's go ahead first. We'll select our two DPM plus plus two SA cars with 512 steps 55 and height 768. So we'll just leave it this settings. It's our ba uh, basic. Let's go now in a keyframe. Keyframe, maximum keyframe, 384. It's where this magic number come. Uh, guidance. This is will be how like 
create first third frame and second will blend. I don't want to do this. I just want to create every frame. It's kind of work very well for this. It's sharper and I do enjoy how it will create it. Next, this is zoom. This is tricky part because what has happened right here, if you look on formula with a sinus and it's actually waves going. So it's a zoom kind of like speed up, slow down, speed up. So it's what it does with this zoom. But we don't need to do that math because we're going to create our own zoom for this and create for this. I'm going to use the frame syncs dot X, Y, Z. So this is free online service. Notice we have it uploaded file. So all what we're going to do here, it's drag and put it our file or you can choose. So there is our song. Let's see. Yep. It's that what we wanted. Now we need look on our frames. If you scroll down, you can notice right here. It's already pre created some frames for us. But let's put it this way. How does zoom work? One, if we go look back on our stable diffusion, if we put it just number one on frame zero, it will be no zoom. It will be stay on frame one. Problem is if we do without any motion, sometimes get the blur and all the stuff. So we'll work on this later. But one, it's what will stay. If we're going a little bit more one way, like 1.5, 1 1.3, it will zoom in and the more you're going in at more it's faster will zoom in. If you're going below one like 0 0.5, it will zoom out. So remember one thing what we want to do here. If we want continuously zoom, it's meaning none of our value should drop before one one. It will stay and we actually want to utilize staying at some point. So we want to at least one and we'll want to select other ones not below. Okay, so let's go adjust. As we upload it, this is a very beautiful graph. We notice right here below we have it our amplitude change and we have it our um, after shift down and we have it band. So we don't worry about band amplitude. It is how up and down. What is the difference between this? And we actually want to rework on this. So let's go first, take shift down, shift down up. Notice what's happening when I move here. It is adjusting. So it's going even in mouse minus. So what I want to do, I actually, I want to set shift down one. In this case, we have it everything above the one. So that is good. It's what we wanted. Next, if we look on some amplitude, we'll have it like uh, one point one zero one three zero. So one, it does not move at all, which is nice. And if we look on like frame 24, we can see it's a one point. So let's go ahead and try to reduce this. Okay, we'll go take a little bit down because big amplitude is okay, but we want not too jerky because even you put a zoom 1.1, you'll notice it will be going so fast. So we need to be careful with those numbers. And for this one, let's go maybe put it down more. One three, I think one three will work because right here I'm scrolling and I see one one, which is kind of one eleven. Nice. So I think this will work very good. Okay, this is value for our zoom. It's, I mean, work almost done. Yes. Um, we'll copy them after. Let's go now back in stable diffusion, and if we go down, you notice right here we have our value where we can put it. Go back, click on copy keyframes here and paste it. There you go. Now our zoom is set for the music specifically what we selected. Let's look down what we have here. You'll notice we have a transform 0505. It's not zero value. Zero, it won't move it. But if we change this value right now, it's a health health. So it will go on the center zoom. If you want to go in any corner, you can change. Top left corner will be zero zero. Top right will be one and zero so and so on you can change those value play around if you want to change corners you also can modify this value if you want to zoom like top down flying so you can add the value there as well okay let's go ahead see what we have next noise we'll just leave it the same we don't worry about this one coherent same anti-blur that is kind of a little bit tricky because by default zero one if you notice when you start rendering your 
um, animations start to be blurred, mostly with zoom or motion. So we need increased sharpness in this or anti-blurring in this case. So usually what I do about frame five, okay? And by the way, first it's go like frame, column, and after we put it value. And the value put it 0 0.3, okay? And let's go on frame 10, which is a little bit more. We'll set value 0 0.5. I know these ones you can play around because if you give it too much, uh, be careful with this. What does meaning by this? If you have 0 0.5 and your image does not zoom in and out, it will start giving this ugly lines. It's over sharpening, give it all these details. So you uh, don't want to do this. Then you can say like, okay, let's go back to my um, motion. And if we look down below, you can see right here, one, 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 one. So we stopped here. And I can see where we stop. We stop on about 364. So if I want, I can go back here and says, okay, frame 363. Let's do one before, okay? And then we want to set my to 0 0.1. So then I want a little bit decrease. Actually, let's go 0 0.2. On this case, you avoid those sharp lines and you prevent. And this is you can do anytime if you have it like very flat no zoom done you actually want to take the the anti-blur down not up so this is done good uh we're done with uh stuff let go cfg7 we'll just leave it as default those ones values we want right now don't touch they have a very good purpose uh for the future but that will work just fine here let's go next to our prompt and here is uh, another thing what's happening if we just take one prompt notice it's all frames but if we go ahead and say just one prompt it will start losing for some reason it does not it just have the first prompt and whatever it doing after this it will lose so we need it almost have it prompts at least about every at least 100 frames or sometimes you want even more often it just depends i don't like putting them too close the case is they don't process fast enough so you just put it about 30 frames 60 frames 60 apart what i'm done right here it's a copy paste my frames same what we said before but i use it i only change a few things and this is another things i recommend for you to do if you are creating frames you can reuse same text the actual kind of emphasize but change at least a bit something like for example right here i have a twisted lines right here i have something else just small i don't change everything just teeny tiny small things change in all of them and some repeat it my goal was for this it just change a little bit text every so much kind of pretty fun uh re-emphasize to recreate new seed for them to create new stuff and our negatives it says nsf nude so it's by the file there okay let's go next initialization we don't worry about this right now we want you can use an image and i tried before but we won't use it right now it's fine no control net for this one um, you can try put it animation same if you have it reference dance i'll show some maybe examples about this and also output so right here is where we're going to put 12 frame per second where you're going to use it and we're going to use um, music i'll go select the file because what i'm going to use it and after download the file you need specify so i'm going to put it right there this is where it's helped me produce um, image just in here so i don't need after add music you could have to take in another applications and process there as well but in this way just one processing it's all so we'll just leave it like this i think that is should work and we go ahead and click generate at this point okay let's go ahead see what's going on one frame is render render another frame we have a way to go this is good good time to go and take a break if you want it and also you can go in your directory and preview you can see how frames will start generating one by one i don't want you to sit here and wait so i pre-created quite a bit a lot of lot of this animation i was creating by experimenting with this so i'll show you one that is what you will have it and right here example Let's go to this one and I'll just open this animations. And notice what's happening. We'll have a nice animation and the music will go in a bit. And mostly we'll notice right here how slow down a little bit. 
and see it. There you go, acceleration gone. Slow down, again acceleration. It's going with a bit of the music, this zoom, because remember we set our values. And on an ending, we almost come to the end. You'll notice right here, see slow down and stop. It's where we have it one, one, one. Notice how the sharpness was a little bit increased because I did not do this decreasing sharpness on this video. That is a, why that is slightly happening. But overall, I think it's actually done a very good job. If we scrabble to the video, you can see it's creating quite a bit nice um, surrealism graphics. And again, right here, it's where it was acceleration on music. It's where the zoom was accelerating. So I think it's actually did a very good job. And also right here, if we look, look how many we already rendered. So we already created this many frames. That's how I say it's a good time to wait. Okay, so this time I probably won't let you uh, sit and wait here. This is actually, it's all how you're doing. And after you need to take this video and upload it on YouTube. I'm going to upload my videos on YouTube. I'll put a link down below. You can check them as a shorts on YouTube as well. I put it this video and maybe a couple other videos on the end of this so you can compare what is different does as well um, with the different type of the zoom because with these applications, you're not just constrained to this. You can also just go ahead and create like bump and other ones or a square and it's based on the uh, how many beats per second you want to do in other things that is work actually not bad but you need to be careful um because some of them will produce this not very nice zoom and i'll have to say just watch videos on the end okay and uh, see because some of them will be with music and some will be with consistent beats so you can determine you can see for yourself which one you like it better as well, some maybe give you another ideas on zooming. Thank you for watching this video and stay around here and watch those examples.